Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon on Instant Replay Live. We're about to shoot some shit. Jump down this hole. Oh. I already did it. Okay. That's just the other that was... hole. I just like it. Is that it? Yep. <laughs> I don't know Why if you can deal with it later. That? I just think it's interesting that you can jump down there. Welcome back. I'm I'm no. I'm I'm no. You're no? I, I meant to say Joe, but I also How do you mess up your own name? Look, I really more than anyone else don't know. And remember Nick, L1 is roll. Yeah, I got it. I'm not gonna make that mistake again, except that I will, like dozens of times. Oh, he's a jelly. So we played uh, chapter one on the uh, the first level. This all procedurally generated, though, right? Yeah. So it's not like it's the same. Oh god. Damn right. It. We're really just going for what boss we run into at the end, and then the maps. They like the map textures change and whatnot, but um. Oh, but the bosses are the same. No, no, no. The 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 it's um, well everything's generated, but like texture's the only thing that uh, doesn't change. Like this okay. level will always have this type of texture. Damn, I, I'm walking right into bullets this time. Oh shit, I just did too. So I think the downside for this game is that it is like, it's aggressive. so hectic, yeah. It is an aggressive game. Oh, you found a key, good dog. Nice, that's actually really solid. Keys are good. Opening chests. Uh, I'm realizing now that we both have to open doors. Yeah, I, I, oh, snipers, so yeah, it'll flash and you can roll out of the way, that's the best way to get, deal with those guys. Oh shit. Grenades are shitty, they blow up. So, Joe, what else is going on? You, uh, you've you had some car trouble recently. Oh, yeah, that's going to be hard to tell the story of during... Too bad. All right, so uh, I'll just follow you around. You, you go through... You, you decide what door we're going through, and I'll follow you. All right, so... I didn't realize there were... Um, are there no earlier doors? Earlier this week... Yeah, there's two doors. Oh, okay. Um, earlier this week, uh, I got home from the gym. Like, a, oh, oh, that's a little muncher. Um, it's a, So you can put guns here if you have, like, a... I can put my Uzi in there, but I think you're supposed to give it, like, two. So, what does it do? Yeah, I think it. I think it's just a new gun out, but I don't know. I honestly, yeah, you have to put two guns in, and now I have to give my Uzi to get something out of it. Oh, I thought I could get. Where's my you just, crossbow? You just threw it in. Oh, you, you should have your crossbow. You should be able to switch to it still. How? Uh, why should? Switch? No, it's. I mean, I don't have it on me. Huh? I don't know. Maybe you, maybe you lost when you died. When I picked up the thing, I bet. No, because you can carry more than one. I mean, I can put this in here and see if it works, though. I guess. Now I feel bad, though. I wanted to get a different weapon for me. This is a blind playthrough, if it yeah. hasn't... Well, for me, anyway. Oh, look at that. It's silenced. Go ahead. You take it. T-shirt cannon. T-shirt cannon. That's <laughs> rad. All right, that was worth it. All right, so... Um, a couple days ago, I got home from the gym at, like, 11 p.m., and my car... Like, my key wouldn't come out of the ignition. And, oh, God, I was just, like... I was just so frustrated. I just like I had work the next day. I had to get up, and uh, so I spent a long time trying to figure out how to get this key out. I tried like tapping it out, twisting it out, lubing it out, all this stuff. Eventually, I literally pried off the top of of my steering wheel cover Holy with shit. my hands. Like I just ripped it off Holy and shit. got in there, and and I was able to take out the whole entire key ignition chamber. And and uh, there was, it turns out there was a big crack in my key ignition. And I fixed it, and I like I I got pulled, pulled out this little pin that was stuck in a crack in my key ignition that was letting wasn't letting my key out. And I, I got it working. It was awesome. I was like, oh fuck yeah! The next day, I'm going home from work. You can get this one. Um, axes of evil. Whoa, I, that's incredible. I don't. I don't. Oh, oh I love it. Nice. Uh, can I do melee with it though, or is it just? I don't know. I haven't seen a gun that does melee yet. That's but too bad. I can't be sure. Uh, we can teleport across the map somewhere. Well, we have a room up to the top right. That's true. Yeah, we can do that first. Um. Do I have to go this way? Yep. No, I have to go this way. This way. Are you sure? There's no door over there. Oh, there is a door over there. <sighs> go on. All right. So I was driving home from work, going about 45 miles an hour, and all of a sudden I hear this. Well, I, 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 there's a car in front of me, and it's slowing down, so I started pressing my brake. My brake just slides. Like, I can't actually, um, like, it doesn't, doesn't do anything. My brake just goes all the way to the floor with no resistance. Um, and... Are you, you're driving at 45 miles an hour and your yeah. brakes are not working. Right. And, Holy shit, and so yo. I press down and then what happens is I press down like all the way to the floor and it just pops. I just hear this huge popping sound. Oh my, my God. Left, I'm dead. I'm about to die too probably. My left front tire seizes entirely. It won't turn. I love that t-shirt. And so like I have to veer off the side of the road. Um, oh, I got your huntsman. I don't it's know if right. I can take Oh, you can. Are you can ghosts? Just, Ghost bombs. Oh, nice, cool. All right, I'll try to I'll try to beat this boss and resurrect you, but I'm gonna die. Yeah. So yeah, so my my tire seized up and <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> uh, and now I'm dead. That didn't work. That's all right. 
We got five minutes. So um, yeah, just yeah. Keep on. So we'll just do another, start doing another run. Yeah. Um, killed by the lead maiden. Uh, nice. And you know, at this point, like my my car is just down. And, and but you are also in danger. How, what did you do to stop? I I, I slid off to the side of the road. Like, okay. And I made it. Like just luckily, like how, there was how space inside the road. You just you just let the car decelerate. Yeah. Holy shit. Man. I mean, one of the cars, one of the, t the front left tire was seized up entirely, so it was just skidding on the road, which is slowing anyway. it down fast, but it was also slowing it down, like, and Pulling turning my angle. car. Yeah. yeah. So I had to, like, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I think human instinct cut kicks in a little bit there, and you just know which way you need to pull the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. But, um... I can see that. Uh, That's still scary, like, in yeah, spite it of... Yeah, was, it was nuts. Oh, my God. But the biggest oh, thing, shit, like, I, honestly, like, I was less afraid than I was just, like, stressed. I was just like, oh, God, I don't need my car to break down. I need my car to so much for work. I drive yeah, everywhere. Yeah, like, it's, you depend on it. Although yeah. your work would understand, I feel like. Right. Especially given that they're getting ready to upgrade you to a desk job. Yeah, but it's still like, you know, like I have to get to that point and I still have to do my work. Yeah. And I just don't have a really good option to get another car. I had, my coworker luckily was like, hey, you can borrow my car while you don't have one. You wow, know. that's where um, that car came from. Right, yeah. And it's, wow. it's, it's been a really, like, it's been a, a little bit like, oh God, I'm gonna, it's going to suck when I have to go back to my car, you know? Yeah. <laughs> But that's a nice car for someone to just be like, you can borrow this, Jesus. I asked how much it would cost uh, some of the mechanics to replace the brakes in my car, and, I, they're, they're, and uh, based on what had broken, and they were like, yeah, it's gonna be like over $600. And I was uh -huh. just like, fuck, I'm not gonna pay that. And mm. so I decided, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this myself. Oh, and wow. So yesterday, without ever having repaired brakes or anything like that before in my life, I looked at some YouTube videos, went, <laughs> I, dro I, had, I drove up to Fredericksburg, and I fucking replaced the calipers, the br the rotors, and the brake pads in my vehicle. Wow, dude! How much did it end up for parts? How much did it cost? Three hundred bucks. Nice. Yeah. So I saved about right. a little bit over three hundred bucks. You know. Yeah, that seems like a reasonable labor cost. Like if you, like they weren't screwing you over if they were paying. You know. Yeah, yeah. About fifty percent parts, fifty percent labor. That seems right. But I also I also had some some random dude and like it was, it was a really good like faith in humanity kind of day. Some random dude stopped by and he was like, I'm, I'm gonna give him a dramatic voice here for effect. Please. He was like, yo, you see that advance up there? And I was like, yeah. He was like, tell him Bruce sent you. They'll give wow. you a discount. And they did. What? <laughs> yeah. He had a he had a uh, commercial account and he just let me use it. Because uh, he saw like you know, I was having some trouble or whatever. I, like, and I, it's pretty cool that Advance is just like, yeah, okay. Even though you're not associated with this dude, you can right. use his, his This random stranger. Yeah. Why did he feel the need I mean it's nice it's yeah. awesome he said he, what he said was he always he just like likes sharing with people like it's a thing yeah because it, so. it doesn't hurt him at all right and it's just like shit that's that's cool man that's really because like, cool. other people just won't think about it yeah but, you know? so I mean it was just a good it was a feel-good thing and god like I I'm not that kind of person who breaks down very often like I'll I'll, I'll, I'll shut down before I break down like st from stress um, and I guess shutting down is a form of breaking down. I don't know, but like I, I yeah. don't like I don't like go into full panic mode generally. But it was just so stressful. I was close to just flipping out over the last few days because mm -hmm. I just didn't want to deal with it. I didn't want I didn't Jeez. want these problems. And and then like after fixing my car and like finally getting it to break and, and move around the parking lot and I could get my brake working, I was just like, holy shit, I fucking did it. It's <laughs> just like, you know, like, it's one of those things where people are always like, you've always, you, you know, you every now and again, you gotta get dirty and repair your car. Hmm. It's a good thing to learn for sure, but yeah. I think also, yeah, like, it's just good to like, get the sense like, holy shit, I, I, I did it, you know? Right, that's really what it comes down to, a sense of self, it's, like accomplishment. The truth is, it's not that hard a lot of times. Diagnosing may be hard. Uh, in this case, I knew what the problem was because I could see it. My, mm -hmm. my, I could see where my brake was broken. Um, but uh, you know, like YouTube is is crazy. Like I, I watched a couple tutorials and I was like, oh, I see the process. You know? Yeah, it's amazing. And and what you can do on your and own. And I mean, also, I could go out there and have my phone, and if I ever got confused, and I'm sure did at times, uh, I, I could pull up more videos, you know, and watch them. Like we have so much capability to do it. So it's it's maybe not as dramatic as kids in the '80s who had to be like, "Oh, my car's broken down the side of the road. How do I fix this?" But uh, I, you know, it's like it's still a worthy thing to I think just do th like like try to take matters into your own hands every now and again. Yeah. Um, like vigilantism. And yeah, absolutely. I I, I understand support the Punisher. Uh, we've been here before. <laughs> we we went the other way though. We're coming right. up now. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, it was just one of those things that like affirmed lessons that I already knew about life. You know, um, it was just a, it was a it was a good turnaround for like what was just really fucking stressing me out. And I, I still got actually my car still parked at the Walmart down there in Fredericksburg, so I need to go down there at some point and get someone to drop me yeah. off. And but but uh, yesterday I was just I was just pleased enough at the end of the day to be like, oh, it's fucking done. Well, you can grab that heart. Okay. 
I didn't even notice that it was... I, like, I, I know that the hearts are red, but I didn't even think about it being a heart. Heart bullet. But, uh, you know, and, and, like, all this, like, it was crazy to me that ignition was one problem one day, and then the very next day, you know, brakes broke. Yeah. And it was just like, holy shit, how do these two things happen, like, right next to each other? We shoot it? We, we don't have a key. We need to get... It's a yellow, oh. it's a blue... There's always a store on each level, though. We can probably gotcha. buy a key. Gotcha. So, uh, let's see. We can teleport somewhere. Oh, we can teleport uh, right here next there. to the shop. Yep, yep. Do um, so, uh, it's been kind of a, a, a week for these kinds of things. Should we should we finish this boss on this level? Yeah, I mean, on I this so. episode? Let's, let's run for it. Okay. Let's, let's, let's get this chest, get a gun, and then... Um, I think it's probably worth grabbing the key right there. Okay. 25. Half hearts. It almost always seems worth grabbing these keys. Snowballer is 35. And the items like the pepper usually like give a passive bonus, but it's hard to say what they are unless you've played it a couple times. Kind of like Binding of Isaac. But, man, we didn't have enough for it anyway. Alright, let's teleport back. Oh, okay, cool. Um, mom just got a new car. We had lunch with her today, and, and she, she scratched her scratched her hubcap, she, which whatever. It, like, it, it, well, it severely d damaged her psyche. <laughs> so. Yeah, exactly. That's what the real damage was. Oh, Ooh. it's a ring. Nice. Ooh. You want to check the Ammonomicon? Ring of miserly protection aids the fiscally responsible. Oh, so you have more bullets, maybe more gun bullets, more ammo, ammo money bullets, bullets, money, money bullets. bullets, ammo bullets. Yeah, we, um, we both couldn't figure that one out. Maybe it gives you more health or something, or more damage reduction. I don't know. Yeah. Or just, it probably means that you, like, drop more when you have more. Like, right. like you gain more by finding that. it. Um, yeah, so she had that happen. Oh, cool. Also, yesterday, Rachel got into a car accident. Ugh, how bad? Not super bad, but... Um, it's, I mean, unless it's, like, a, a, a bumper that's, like, whatever, it's usually not... It's, car accidents aren't it's fun. cracked fiberglass situation, so, oh, okay. like, need to replace that, but it's not... It's, it's really not a big deal, but the fact that it happened always sucks. Mm. And, uh, King Bullet. Um, Bullet King, excuse me. I love my guy's in, face in those Was little... it in the lead of the throne? Instead of in the lead, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Oh, watch out for that. Oh, his whole throne. That's cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, but yeah. how, how's that going? Well, the biggest problem with it is that she let the guy go. And she's oh. going to be upset at me for talking about this, probably, when she, it, like, listens to this episode in three years, because she never listens to our episodes when they come out, but she listens oh, dude, later. Oh, you have more health. You have, like, five. Um, oh, God. Tits. Oh, The gold okay. of tits and wine. <laughs> um, oh, nerf darts. Shit. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I do like that they stick around. Uh, literally, if you shoot the walls. Um, the guy was just like, I'm not going to screw you over, man. Uh, you know, like... <laughs> I, I just don't understand why, because she ended up calling me, and I was like, "Call the cops right. and get them there, because that will be important. Uh, they need to." Oh, I'm just picking up everything. Wind That's up cool. gun. I got, I got the wind up gun. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I got That's cool. I'm excited for this. Um, that was in that box, so we're done there. Yeah. Okay. Um, did, did, did you not exchange insurance information? Or no, she did do that, but she didn't call the cops, and then I came out because it wasn't far from home where it happened. And I was just like, look, dude, you got to, you know, stick around for the cops. And he's like, oh, we already agreed that they're not coming. And I looked at Rachel and she said, yeah, I've got to go because she had a dog sitting job to get to. Uh, and she's like, I'm already 30 minutes late for this dog sitting job. I have to go. I can't wait for the cops either. Right. And uh, so they just agreed. And we're going to find out on Tuesday um, if this guy is legit or not, because Monday is a holiday. This is being recorded, by the way before oh man <laughs> this is i completely forgot to mention i totally had plans to all of this is after funky Fortnite. right so oh fuck what's up this is after we, we're gonna uh, I'll, we'll talk about stuff later uh, oh hmm okay so anyway there if you want to get it for your cool gun yeah um uh well ignore everything i'm saying here but yeah this is all after funky Fortnite, uh but recorded before in fact it's being recorded right before the 4th of July, which is a Monday holiday, so, like, insurance companies are harder to reach and whatnot, so we're supposedly gonna fix it all on Tuesday, oh, but that's a perfect amount of time for this guy to just be like, I didn't do anything, and, you know, I, I'm worried. I, I am definitely worried, mm -hmm. but that's shitty. good news is there was a, uh, a witness on scene who we got his information to. Oh, cool, cool. So, worst case scenario, yeah, if this like guy that. tries to be crappy. Do we want to end this episode here? Or? Oh, I completely forgot we were ending an episode. 
<laughs> Next time I did Sorry Blue Life, I'm sorry, I got rambly. Really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf?